yes, I'm pushing the envelope with these um, chats because my purpose, of course, is to become the new director of the New York City Ballet because I think, quite frankly, I'm the most qualified. And without uh, tooting my own horn, which of course it's going to be seen like that by a lot of people, I can't help that. The reason I'm the most qualified is simply that I worked with Balanchine as a principal dancer. He had me choreograph eight ballets for the company under his tutelage. He also had me teaching at the School of American Ballet and the New York City Ballet Company classes, not when he was unavailable, but because he wanted me to. It was part of my education. It was part of my training. This was before Peter Martins came on the scene and I went to Los Angeles, which again may have been a big mistake. But it's worth, I guess, repeating this. Um, it's so important to me, and I think to the world of dance and to the board of the New York City Ballet, who I'm addressing now, and to the dancers and to the public and to the whole institution that the Balanchine legacy be preserved as well as possible. The Balanchine legacy is the New York City Ballet. Maybe sometime in the far future that will be less important, but I think it's been pretty clear that the one thing that everybody in the company and the institution can rely on is the value of the Balanchine repertory, the value of the Balanchine style, the uniqueness of both. No other company in the world can claim this kind of direct lineage. And the reason why I think I'm the best person to carry this on is simply because of those that are still around that worked for Balanchine, as a principal dancer, it's different than coming in and out as the core, it's a little bit different. I'm really the only one that ticks off all the boxes. I choreographed for the company under his tutelage. He had me teaching the company class. He had me teaching at SAB. I don't think any of the other candidates, uh, and I think I know some of them, I don't think any of them could, have, could say that, even if they were principal dancers in the company the last few years of his life. I was there before the last few years of his life. So he was, before he became ill, before he had any problems, he was such a vibrant, vital force of nature. Everybody knows that. Even in his waning years, he was still a force of nature. So I don't mean to put down any people that only came to him the last three or four years of his life. He still had his great moments, but that was different than before. His classes were different. His energy was different. And luckily, I still remember that. Clear as a bell. Clear as day. You know what I mean. So yes, I'm being pretty pushy here um, with all these um, posts I'm making. I've heard they're being seen by the board. I know they're being seen by many dancers in the company. You choose who you want to, obviously, but think about it because it's very, very important if you're going to have a real link, lineage of the Balanchine heritage. And Robbins too, I mean, my God, I was you know principal dancer and Dances of Gathering, Goldberg Variations, and, uh, and Evening's Waltzes, so the, his first three ballets back with the company. So I do you know, remember Jerry quite well, too. But Balanchine was the teacher. Balanchine was the one that developed dancers. And I also have a history of developing dancers with my Los Angeles ballet. Damien Wetzel is the most famous. But Darcy Kistler also went to our school. I have dancers and companies all over the world that were trained in my company and my school and uh, I can get, put you in touch with them. So yes, I'm being pretty forceful here, but I think it's important. And the reason I post things of me dancing, even at my advanced age, is to show that I'm still, you know, alive. So, told you about the hair. I posted something of me dancing today. I'm passionate about the company. I'm passionate about Balanchine. Also, in closing, Lincoln Kirstein told me something four years after Balanchine died when I was back in New York, and I think I talk about this in one of my other posts. He said Balanchine wanted the company to be fought over. In one way, he wanted to take it with him, and in the one way he did. But Lincoln told me that Balanchine wanted his, this is the quote, Balanchine wanted his crown to be fought over. He wanted to be like King Lear. That's according to Lincoln. At the time when I was in New York, I didn't want to fight. I'd been fighting 10 years in Los Angeles. But now it's crucial. Now the company, the board, it's at a tipping point. It can either go on with faux balancing with people that didn't work for him or people that heard second or third hand, et cetera, et cetera. 
I'm the only one, I think, that's a candidate, unless Jacques D'Amboise is, but I'm the only one that Balanchine had teach the company on a regular basis and teach at the school. And except for Jacques, I'm the only one that Balanchine had choreographed for the company so much when he was a lot really vibrant. Not at the end, but when he was really vibrant. So that's why I think I'm the best person for the job. I would like the opportunity to prove it. Thank you very much.